Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's party. Um, I'm just here with another video. So today I, it's 12 o'clock right now. Um, I woke up at nine, clear flower, Saturday. And I had scrambled tofu with some kale and some sauteed spinach with salsa and avo whole avocado. And I'm just having oatmeal, because it's my favorite. I know it's plain and simple and boring and like old grandpa type shit, but it's my favorite, so. Um, but I need to go grocery shopping today. So that's the plan. So I think I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to go grocery shopping and show you my haul. Also, I need to get out of these clothes because I'm wearing sweat pants and a hoodie that I've been wearing since last night for bed. So yeah, I'm just gonna go take a shower and go to the gym and tan and go grocery shopping. But then if I take a shower, I'll just let you guys know what I do. Um, but yeah, so the next time you see me, it's gonna be on my way to the store, so much love. Also, thank you for the love and support on the last video. It means a lot. You guys did freaking great. I always appreciate it. Um, but I'm gonna put my social media here so you can add me. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this video. Make sure you leave me a like and then comment down below. Um, subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be posting twice a week, probably mostly Monday, Wednesday, or Saturday. So, oh, those three days, two of those days I will be uploading. So yeah. But yeah. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so here I am, an hour and a half later, about to leave. So, I decided I'm just gonna go to the gym later tonight, so I'm not gonna record that or show you, but if you guys wanna see like a gym routine type thing, just leave it down in the comments below, or like this video actually. I can do that later. Um, but there's a couple grocery stores I'm gonna go to. I have, I'll show you the app that I use and everything else, like how I plan this out and, cause I like to adult and feel like I'm, okay with my finances and everything and i'll just show you guys later but yeah i think the first stop is gonna be the gas station because i need to get gas so that's where we're gonna be so i just my car up and now i'm wondering do i want to go to walmart first or i want to drive further and go to kroger <laughs> So I've never been to Kroger before and let me turn that on. So I've never been to Kroger before, but I heard that they have a bulk section because I'm trying to shop a little more plastic free and zero waste. So I'm not gonna get a whole bunch from here, but I'm gonna just go browse around and see what they have here. And then after this, I'm gonna run over to Aldi and Walmart, my two favorites. Well, Aldi's my favorite. I hate Walmart. I'm trying not to shop there. Um, So Kroger was okay, not my favorite. Probably never gonna go back. Um, but now I'm on my way to Aldi, but I did pick up a few things. As you saw, I picked up some Califia yogurt. I've never had that. Um, tempeh, I like. It's tofu, I like. I got a cantaloupe for 99 cents. So I was like, oh, hell yeah. Um, it's probably not in season, but <laughs> yellow. And yeah, there's something else I got. Coconut aminos because I could never freaking find it. So I got the Bragg's brand because there were two brands an organic one and then Bragg's organic and the Bragg's organic had less sugar so I got that one so yeah now I'm on my way to Aldi I didn't really record in there I didn't like it, it was freaking crowded are you kidding me I hate people who drive in Kentucky bad bitch So I just got to Aldi's. Okay. 
Um, I'm just gonna go in. So with all these, you do need a quarter to get a card, which of course I have. So there's a lot of people here though. So I don't know if I'll record, but we'll go check it out. Okay. So I just got done with my Aldi. So all those are Aldi. Um, now I'm gonna go to Walmart and pick up a couple more things and then we'll be done, so. So I made it back and I'm ready to show you my groceries cause you guys should be happy. So yeah, I'm just gonna take these and bring them all the way up to that fourth floor right there. So, so I know some of you people are gonna be like, oh, Partridge, you don't eat that much or anything. But I did need to go grocery shopping because I let to get this stuff. So. so that is all I had in my fridge. But now I gotta go put all that stuff away. Actually, I'm gonna lay it on the table and then show you guys, so. But it is going to be in three, two. So, this is everything I got. Um, I'll show you guys the receipt and the total because I'm pretty sure everybody's interested in how much. I got these from Aldi. They're vegan, meat-free, chickenless patties. Um, and then I got these from Walmart, these Tofurky plant-based original sausage. These are so freaking good. And then I got the Guardian Crispy Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken because I've been craving like Asian food, like I said, as you've seen. And then a roasted garlic hummus from Aldi. I got some organic chopped kale. Kale, I think that's how you say it. But I like to just take this. This one's purple, which is different than the one I have. And then I got some spinach from Aldi. And what I like to do is use those until they start going bad and then I freeze them. And then I just like saute them and like put them in rice and other dishes. So then we'll start over here. I got some medjool dates. Those are freaking good. Bananas, these ones aren't ripe, but there's a reason. Um, these are the only ones Aldi had for 42 cents a pound. And I got these ones because I already have ripe ones. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait these to ripen the ones that I have. I got these two green or master brew kombuchas, pineapple peach. It is my favorite flavor because it just tastes so freaking good compared to kombucha that tastes like vinegar. But I also have this on my Ibotta, so I got a dollar off of this. So it's originally 250 and I got it for a dollar fifty. So I saved like two bucks right there. So yeah. Um, and then this is new. Bro probiotic dairy-free yogurt. That has to hurry up and go in the fridge. But I've never seen this. I mean, I've seen it, but I've never tried it. And I just really wanted to try it. I got that from Kroger. And then moving on, I got some Pacific Foods Organic Oats plant-based beverage. This is the vanilla flavored. I know it looks crushed, but this is the only one that they had. And I got 25 cents off of that because it was crushed in appearance. So yeah, Kroger's chill. Um, I got garbanzo beans and some diced tomatoes. I just like to pan fry these, or put these in a pan and then heat them up and make them like spaghetti-ish. Spaghetti. But I don't really eat, I have beans and legumes, but I like lentils, those are my preferred protein, I guess. Um, I also got some walnuts to put in my oatmeal. And then of course quinoa, because it's a complete protein. And rice, I get a big thing of white rice. This only cost me a dollar, so. But it's as big as my hand, and I think, so yeah, the calories are 160 per quarter, per, per quarter cup, and there's 30. So that's like, I don't know mental math really well. Um, but 3,000 calories if you take 100 times 30. So 3,000 calories plus that in here, just for a dollar, like shit. And then I got some green tea and dark chocolate because everybody knows mama likes her dark chocolate. So this one's from Aldi, it's really good. Um, I got this from Kroger, this is new. I usually get my tofu from Walmart, but organic truth, organic, I already said that, organic truth tofu, extra firm, because that's the only one I like. And it's eight grams of protein per serving, and there's five servings, so there's 40 grams of protein in each of these. I don't eat a lot of soy in my diet usually, but I've been craving, I've been enjoying um, scrambled tofu and just adding tofu into like salads and stuff. And then I'm moving on to some more produce. Oh, also I got some tempeh, which is another, it's the same thing as tofu, it's just fermented. So it's like bacon almost. So I'll do a cooking vlog with that. Um, but then I got squash from Aldi for a dollar, 99 cents. I got these for a dollar from Aldi. These sweet potatoes I got from Walmart because I didn't like the ones at Aldi because they just look grody. I got a regular potato from Walmart, and I got a cantaloupe, and then I got an onion. So, I got those, and then moving on to these four avocados. They were on sale for 69, or 49 cents at Aldi. And I got another squash. I got some oranges, because I love oranges, especially before I work out in the morning. Well, 
not work out. I have PT in the morning, I'm in the army, as we all know. And so I just like to cut one of these up and drink some water before I go do PT. Um, this is, I hope it's freaking good, but it's coconut liquid aminos. I've had coconut aminos before and I really enjoy it like on avocado toast and stuff. But this one only has two grams of added sugar compared to the brand at Kroger. So I got this one, it was like 20 cents more expensive, or more, but hey, less sugar makes partridge happy. Okay, continuing on. Um, I got some maple syrup, 100% pure. This, I did not have a price on it at Aldi, but I was looking at Walmart and other like Kroger and stuff, and they were charging like $17 for this big bottle. How many ounces? It's 32 ounces worth of 100% pure maple syrup. But they were selling these at like Kroger and Walmart, and I was looking at the prices, and they were anywhere from $17 to $20. And I got this for $13. So back at you, Aldi. So. Um, I got some organic ground cinnamon, um, for oatmeal and other things, and garlic powder, because I've been using garlic salt, because I really like garlic, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I cook with garlic salt, it makes my, I just feel like I have a lot of sodium, and I just like the taste of garlic, so I just got garlic powder, because I'm going to try on way off of garlic salt, or the salt, the sodium portion, because I have Himalayan salt, and I add, and then all the, like, out of that, like, I use vegetable stock as well, a veggie broth. Which has sodium in it as well. So sodium on top of sodium on top of sodium, like it's just not okay. So I'm just gonna start using garlic powder to reduce my sodium intake. Um, I got some more minced garlic, of course, a little chopped garlic. But I got this from Walmart, I think. No, Kroger. And it's just more garlic, because I ran out. And this is my favorite peanut butter. So if you ever at Aldi, try and find this. It's over near the um, jellies and jams and stuff like that but it's organic and it's peanut butter. But look at this, like you can see how liquidy it is and it's my freaking, it's, oh, it's just so good to drizzle on oatmeal and everything else. So there's that. So this Seedtastic bread, it's the only one at Aldi that doesn't have honey in it, right? If you see a sprouted bread, but it's really good. They have like pumpkin seeds and flax and oats in there. And it's like five grams of protein. Yeah, five grams of protein per one slice. There's 17 slices in here. So it has a heck ton of protein, and I just like to make avocado toast and everything else. So, what else did I get? I think that sums up everything I got. So, I don't usually eat those that stuff, but I got it because, you know, I'm gonna splurge and enjoy myself. Um, but yeah, I got all of this. And this will last me about a week, two weeks. Two weeks. So yeah, another reason I go shopping every two weeks is because I don't like those stairs, and no, I'm just getting lazy. Um, but I just don't like, Every two weeks when I get paid, it just makes more sense for me and that's just what's practical in my situation. So yeah, I got all of this today from all three stores, but it's gonna be good. away. And I know everybody's gonna be like, Partridge, I thought you said you were shopping zero waste. I thought you said you were gonna show us the price. Yes, I'm gonna tell you. So the zero waste issue with that. Um, I went to Kroger because people were telling me they have a bulk section. My, the Kroger that's in where I live does not have a bulk section did not um it's very run down and kind of old and not my favorite store don't think i'm gonna go back so that being said everything that's packaged is going to be thrown out eventually so like everything i bought if i wouldn't have bought it it would have been thrown out and thrown away so it's whether or not the geolocation of where i'm at and the products that i have then access to that's what's important to me, and I get it. I'm not plastic free in any way, shape, or form, and I'm trying my best. But with where I'm at and where I'm at in my life and financial reasons and my location specifically, I do not have access to a Whole Foods. I do not have access to nicer, I guess, grocery stores. Um, but I have Aldi, and Aldi is cheaper. And Aldi also has a lot of organic options. So like a lot of the things I did buy were organic, and. That's important to me. Non-GMO is important to me. Plastic is important to me. However, comma, I don't have that availability, but I'm doing my best. So if there's something that comes in paper or cardboard or something like that, where it can be composted and recycled, I will get it. Or if it comes in a glass jar, I will get it. But a lot of the produce around me, for example, at Walmart, it's more expensive and they cover it in beeswax, whereas Aldi doesn't cover it in anything and it might come in plastic. So I look at that comparison to saving a dollar and the beeswax and 
it just makes more sense for me to shop at Aldi. And a lot of their plastic can be recycled. Even though I know plastic is harder to recycle and it doesn't always get recycled, I do recycle my plastic. So that being said, I'm not perfect and it's okay. So Kroger, I lost my receipt on the way here, but I spent $12. So I'll just leave the price up here somewhere for everything and add it all together. Um, before I do anything, I did, it was my birthday recently, as we all know, and because of that, I was given extra money to buy things that I wouldn't normally buy. So, well, also not even that, but, so everything at, like, I don't buy fake meat and stuff like that, so I don't usually do that. Um, so, rough or take, I spend $50 a week on myself, okay? Nothing's wrong with that, and... The Kroger situation, like everything I bought at Kroger was with a gift card, so I did not spend my own money. So that being said, I spend $100 every two weeks on food for myself. So that's $200 a month. And for one person, that might sound like a lot, but it's $50 a week. So that's what I'm comfortable with, and you don't have to spend that much on yourself. Or you can even shop at cheaper places, or like you can budget differently than I do. But food's important to me, and I like food. So $50 a week sounds pretty decent to me so that being said aldi my main thing i spent 72 dollars at aldi so yeah 72 dollars and i got this long ass receipt full of shit so you just look at that and you can be like okay well that's a lot less because i was looking at the comparison like online and if you shop at aldi kroger walmart whole foods like you they were shop putting side by side they got the exact same things organic and everything and they got the exact same things, and Aldi was always either 10 to $50 cheaper than the other retail stores. So I shop at Aldi, and I spent $72. And then I went to Walmart and bought some extra stuff, not that much, but it was $12. And 10 cents, $24, $24. So you see that. So 24 plus 72 is obviously 96. So yeah. I spent $96 today on food, and that's okay, because I told you I spend $50 a week, so technically, I still have $4 to budget. Mind you, I also use the app Ibotta, which I highly suggest you do, because Ibotta, or Walmart's app where you can, the money saver catch app, Ibotta, what it does is it looks at your retail stores that are near you, and you pick the ones that you mostly shop at, and then it'll pop up deals. So like my kombucha that I bought, like I told you, it was originally two fifty, and I got a dollar off each one. So that saves me two dollars right there. So now my total is at ninety four dollars, and then you just continue with that. But I think in Ibotta today, I saved eight dollars. So ninety six minus eight, that comes out to like eighty eighty eight. $88, so I still have $12 for my budget, technically, for these two weeks. And also, I still have money left on my gift card, so that could go towards that, too. Um, either way, that's how much I spent. That's what I bought. And, yeah, so that's what I'm going to eat for the next two weeks. Maybe a week and a half, depending on when I get paid again. Um, also, I just want you guys all to see my arm. This redness is from carrying my bags up those four stairs, so... Hi guys, so this is Partridge from the next day, um, it's Sunday, and I'm just editing this video, and I realized I didn't like my outro, I, did, I filmed one, but I didn't like it, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the love and support of my other videos, and yeah, make sure you comment something nice down below, or hateful, it doesn't matter, give this a like or dislike, what I could change about it, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I love you all, and stay humble guys, so yeah. Mm -hmm.